Hello everyone, it's Friday and that means another new product post. We have even more new products, so let's dig right in and see what we've got. So first up, we've got this resistor pack. This is our new SparkFun resistor kit. This includes 25 different values with 20 each of the most common resistors you could find. So you get a total of 500 resistors and they're all in this relatively handy to use little cardboard pouch. And we even include a resistor chart to show you what the different values are. Now they did get a little banged up in shipping, but it's just the cardboard, so it should be perfectly fine. And if you're looking to use resistors for anything, which you probably are, check out the resistor kit. So here we've got a new Arduino shield. This is the PO Ethernet shield. It is an Ethernet shield, but it also combines a little bit of PoE functionality. So when we look at it, we can see that it has the micro SD card socket. It is the standard form factor of a shield, and it looks pretty much just like the normal Ethernet shield, except for a couple little differences. Right here, we've got a V plus, a V minus, and then the V in and ground. And what we're doing here is we're breaking out from the Ethernet jack the fifth and sixth and seventh and eighth pins, I believe, which are the unused pins on the Cat5. So since those are broken out, you can actually just simply jumper them to V in and jumper them to ground. And when you inject power over your Ethernet, you can actually inject power then into the shield and thusly into your Arduino. So if you're using something like the PoE cable sets that we have, all you would do is plug this directly into the Ethernet, jumper these pins, which would power your Arduino, and then you would plug one of these into your Ethernet jack and then plug in power and boom, you have a line to power your Ethernet shield and your Arduino. So it's pretty simple to use. The only thing that I will mention about this board is it doesn't have anything between the actual connector and these pins. So it does not conform to the standard power over Ethernet requirements, which is like 35 volts. So when you send power into this, it's gonna go directly to the VIN on the Arduino, so you don't really wanna send it much more than whatever the nine or 12 volts that the Arduino is wanting. However, using these headers right here, you could bring the 35 volts out to a regulator or something else, and then back into the board, which would then power your Arduino. So if you're looking for a really functional ethernet shield, check out this guy. Here we've got a new LCD. This is a 16 by two character LCD, which means it has 16 characters per row, and it's got two rows, so you can display a total of 32 different characters. Now, the interesting thing about this display is it's actually got an RGB backlight, which means that you can actually control with an Arduino or another microcontroller, the red, the green, the blue, and you can create a backlight that is any color that you want. So if you have like an error message, you can have it blink red, whatever you wanna do. And it is the standard LCD that we have, so it connects pretty much the same way except for the extra pins for the backlight. So you can use this with the library that is included with the Arduino IDE. We've got this hooked up to an Arduino, so we're gonna dim the lights and show you what the three different backlights look like. So, as I said, you hook this up the standard way that the Arduino library shows you, and we've got it on, and we've got it on blue. Press a button, that's red, and that's green. And of course, you can mix all these colors to create any color you want for the backlight. So there you have it, another Friday new product post. We've got the LCD, we've got the Ethernet shield, and we even have 500 resistors in a cardboard pack. So check out the rest of the new product post. We have even more on the website, and we'll see you again next week with even more new products.